Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the design and simulation of boost PFC converter. PFC boost converter that is 150 watt PFC boost converter for universal input. So the input voltage is 90 volt AC to 265 volt AC and the output is going to be 400 volt DC at the rate of 375 amps. So let us uh, let us understand how you're gonna design and simulate your boost PFC converter in LT Spice. PFC stands for power factor correction. Okay, PFC stands for power factor correction and for universal input, how you're gonna design 150 watt PFC boost converter. So let us first understand the schematic flow and then we'll run the simulation and let we'll see the waveforms. Okay, so if you look at the input side, this is nothing but this is the bridge converter or bridge rectifier wherein you will see the four diode here, this D5, D8 and D6, D7 and the diodes are IN4007, okay, IN4007 and here I have the power source which is 167 volt okay rms 167 volt peak if you right click on here it is 167 volt okay amplitude that means 167 is the positive peak and 167 is the negative peak and if you look at now the c6 after the bridge rectifier if you are designing the boost pfc converter so after the bridge rectifier you have to use a small value capacitance which could be 100 nanofarad so here i am using you can use the film capacitor here that is 100 nanofarad and you can select the voltage rating let's say 310 or so 305 and then if you look at here this is my the boost pfc controller okay this is the boost pfc controller lt 8312 and uh, this is the V in pin of boost EFC controller wherein the it is directly connected with your input for startup that is 300k the resistance value and the diode D9 IN4007 and uh, this is for again uh, under voltage lockout signal and uh, under voltage lockout and the enable pin and this is the vSense which is going to sense the input voltage okay input voltage and uh, here if you look at we have the reference pin OVP pin etc and if you come back here this side we have the sense pin which sends the output current also we have the gate driver pin this is the gate driver pin and uh, this is the feedback pin which wherein we are monitoring the feedback okay and uh, which is connected to the feedback pin and this is again the discontinuous conduction mode pin DCM and if you look at here I have the inductor and in parallel with inductor we have also one inductor which converts the high voltage into the low voltage in order to turn in order to turn on the IC it is directly connected to the supply pin of v in pin of your lt8312 so this is then then you have the mosfet the mosfet and we have if you look at it similar like the boost converter first inductor then mosfet then the output diode and the then the output capacitor and here i have the load okay now if you if I run the simulation and I'll show you the different voltage and current waveform. So let me add first plot pane here the input. So this is my input if I click like this. Okay. So this is going to be input and if you go on the next page. Let so now the simulation is running and if you look at this is my input signal. Right. This is my input signal. And amplitude, if I have to so show you, it's around 167 or 170 volt. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is, this is your input signal, and let's let's let me add one more plot pane. Let me add one more plot pane, 
and let us look at the DC signal how the the DC signal you see after the bridge rectifier let us see how the DC signal looks like after the rectification so this is your DC signal after the rectification wherein we see the DC signal at this capacitor this is nothing but the DC signal at the capacitor after the rectifier you're gonna see okay so this is the DC signal now if I delete both input signal and DC signal let me delete it both the input signal and the DC signal let me delete this also delete this trace delete this plot pane so delete this plot pane delete this plot pane let us see okay so this is basically nothing but this is the pulse and this is inductor current waveform so if you look at now again let me run the simulation so the this is the pulse gate to source pulse in order to operate the 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 mosfet and this is your inductor current and how the inductor current looks like in this okay if you look at here what is the shape of your inductor current okay that is how it looks like and if I further zoom one of the inductor current so you will see this is your inductor current where you will see the gate to source voltage is around 0 to 0 to 10 volt and this is again this is your again 0 to the 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 inductor current is one point around 2 amps 0 to 2 amps that means this converter is working in the boundary conduction mode bcm mode it's not working in dcm mode neither ccm mode but this converter is working in the bcm mode boundary condition mode okay so this is the induct get to source voltage of the mosfet and this is the inductor current okay if i say the gates to source voltage that means q1 voltage the driving voltage of q1 and this is the inductor current okay now let me show you the output voltage so if so this is the output voltage of your boost pfc converter wherein i see the output voltage is very close to around 400 volt it has some ripple but you can see we are generating the 400 volt output and if i have to look at the current here it's around 200 milliampere so you can see the output of your boost pfc converter that is boost pfc converter is 400 volt and 200 milliampere 